Hi. It's me, Leather Rock. Welcome to my channel. I have a little adventure story time for you. I had an interesting evening today. Tonight was the Miss America pageant parade and I decided that I would go as a drag king to hang out with a bunch of drag kings and queens and watch the parade. And maybe I should set this up by putting my hair back in this fedora. Now this fedora used to belong to my roommate and he threw it out for some stupid reason. I think his cat anointed it or something. And I don't believe in wasting good clothes, so I washed it and absolutely nothing wrong with it. It doesn't smell bad or anything. It's mine. So I decided, now first of all, how exactly I'm wearing the outfit that I wore. I'm wearing the exact same thing, except I am wearing makeup now. For this little adventure, however, I wore absolutely no makeup at all except for foundation and the reason why I wore foundation is because I have some retinol burn and a little tiny bit of redness and I wanted to even out my skin tone but other than that I was not wearing any makeup at all no eyeshadow no mascara no lipstick nothing so and I will also set this up for you that it has been raining all day and so I am exiting my apartment and I'm trying not to be noticed by the neighborhood dirt bags that are still hanging around even though it's raining. I'm carrying an umbrella um, and when I get to the boardwalk it's rather slippery as it always is and on one hand I'm trying not to get wet because I didn't want to wear one of those yellow poncho kind of things and my feet were still getting wet inside my shoes. Uh, and I walked, I couldn't walk as fast as I usually do because it was really, when the boardwalk gets wet, it gets slick as ice in some spots, depending on, especially if it's newer wood, because if it's older wood, older wood is more absorbent, but the newer wood, it's really slippery, so you have to be careful. And I wasn't wearing sneakers or anything, I was wearing the most masculine footwear that I could think of, and matter of fact, I'll even show you. Unfortunately, they're brown and my trousers happen to be black, but I mean, I was kind of stressing out on this outfit too because I don't, if you watch my channel, you know that I tend to wear just mini skirts and garter belts and kind of slutty clothes and stuff, and even though I do have a penchant for ties and vests, uh, I got a number of ties that I got from my father, I, I just love that aesthetic, and when I look at old cowboy movies and uh, like, uh, oh, I, the names escape me at the moment, but some of the actors portray these characters and they have bodies that are kind of like mine. I'm thinking I would look good in this. And so of course I'm going to incorporate different aspects of my fashion sense maybe from things that I've seen in pop culture that especially if it's something that looks like my body would fit it, why wouldn't I rock it, you know? But so I went there and I was a little bit self-conscious because nobody is ever seen me run around without makeup, especially the one-two punch of wearing no makeup and wearing menswear and the boardwalk was kind of sort of crowded because we get ready for the pageant parade but I was not worried about the strangers on the boardwalk I was worried about the people living around where I live because you've got drug dealers and you've got all kinds of really scary kind of people and stuff and I don't want to be conspicuous when I'm going about my business especially if I'm going to do something like this where I'm really expounding and expanding my comfort zone because I never went and drive before but I was intrigued by the idea I heard about this party and I said you know what why not do it why not you only live once right so I'm making my way up the boardwalk toward where the viewing area is and my feet are getting wetter and wetter and I was glad that I didn't run into anybody that I knew so um, but wearing going out without makeup is really now I didn't totally uh, deprive myself in that I carried a little bag with me and I carried a little palette that I actually used to do the makeup that you see here. Now this particular video is not a makeup tutorial so I'm not going to get into it too much but everything that you see on my face except for my lipstick and my foundation is from this. This is just two colors. Yeah I'll tell you what it is. Just this color here on the eyelids and this is what I used on my eyebrows but and I used the B&H lipstick here I'll show you Kayamo is what it's called but I brought these with me and I didn't put them on until afterwards 
because the whole idea if I was supposed to be a drag king I imagine that that would be not looking like I had a face full of makeup however that said when I got there the most amazing looking people there among the drag king uh, variety were the people who actually the women who took the time to use like brown eyeliner or makeup and otherwise draw on facial hair they looked fantastic uh, and I saw a few pictures online and I'm thinking if I only had the courage to do that but then I would be walking around for a couple of miles I didn't want to do that it'd be different if I got uh, in a taxi or if I went with a group of friends that would make all the difference but when you're walking around by yourself even there's some fashion choices and even I am not that comfortable or brave enough to do it. and I live in a fairly open small town slash resort I don't want to call it Mecca because well, I don't want to use that word. But yeah, I did not want to do that. And then once I got there, I'm thinking if I'd only taken an extra step and maybe uh, drawn on a mustache or... And they had some, some women doing things with their eyebrows and they look quite good, you know. So, I mean, if I'd only gone that far, but I did not feel that brave. So I got there and we didn't have much time to hang around because soon enough it was time for the parade to start. So then... And it was, it's kind of stopped raining for a while, but then it resumed raining again. But for a while there, there was really no rain. You didn't need to carry it, have your umbrella with you. But, but uh, and I didn't want to bring one of those, excuse me, I didn't want to bring one of those slickers with me because the only ones that we have in our house are the yellow ones. And it didn't go on, go with my ensemble. And I didn't want to look like, uh, I, I just, I, I would rather suffer than make a fashion mistake. That's the way I see it. So, um. As far as the pageant parade, the thing stuck, stuck out to me. Okay, my favorite shoe, the, one of the names for this parade is called the Show Us Your Shoes Parade. Because at one time, that was yelled out. I'm talking about in the very early days of the Miss America pageant. So, uh, and I like to think I know a thing or two about the Miss America pageant because it's been held and, and it was started in my hometown. Okay. So, but my favorite shoe by far was from Miss Alabama. It was a NASA theme. Uh, and you could tell, well, they have, they ride on the back of floats, or not back of floats, excuse me, they ride on the back of either cars. Uh, some of them, I believe, were pushed on rolling chairs, but they usually sit on the hood of the cars and they stick their legs out and they show their shoes. So, yeah, I can't move these pants there. If I actually did a high kick or something, I would split them. I don't want to do that. I'm not really used to wearing trousers, can you tell? These don't have any stretch in them. They're quite... Check it out. They're very... They're... Yeah, they feel like menswear to me, even though they're probably not. But anyway, that said, uh, Miss Alabama's uh, shoes, I believe they had your silver and they had... Uh, rockets or stars shooting out of them or something they were really adorable um, but uh, I really enjoyed you know, a lot of the costumes on the baton twirlers that were there uh, some of them were things that I would wear totally as club wear I really thought, liked the uh, colors that I saw and all the sequins and it was nice seeing uh, people of all shapes and sizes at these things it was really cool the inclusivity was really nice uh, and one thing was unexpected, the, uh, just before the last contestant, because all the uh, contestants are do this in alphabetical order, the, ne last, the next to the last one, there was this cat, like a black and white tuxedo cat, was walking along, along the boardwalk, along the parade route, until it, uh, just until it got to us, I think Alley Cat Allies has some cat feeders uh, underneath the boardwalk near where we were and the cat went to where the food and the water and stuff was but it was the cutest thing and there were some people who well, everybody else except me had cell phones you know of course so people were taking pictures and video of the cat and that was a nice touch it really was now i have a few misgivings about miss america pageant this year while we're on the subject um i i really have always had a fondness for the miss america pageant because i grew up with it i mean being from my hometown it always meant something to me but now they have changed it so much that they got rid of the swimsuit competition i mean can you imagine a miss america pageant without running around in the bathing suits now uh, they've come a long way with that i remember when they didn't allow bikinis when it was only one piece 
Uh, but through the years, they've gotten more and more permissive with things. Uh, they're not as strict with the girls as they were. In the beginning, they all had to have chaperones. They couldn't have boyfriends they visit them in their rooms. They weren't allowed to be on the casino floor unless they were escorted by uh, people. They were kept with this, uh, you couldn't have any lack, lack of appearance of propriety. It was very strict. They had uh, local women who were um, highly respected in the community. They would kind of not bodyguard them, but I believe they were called chaperones. They looked after them so that there could never be any uh, casting aspersions on the morality of the contestants. But uh, this American pageant has come a long way. And this year, yeah, they got rid of the swimsuit competition. They got rid of the evening gown competition. In lieu of the evening gown, they are allowed to just wear whatever they want that uh, suits their personality. Uh, from what, my, I, what I understand, there is no longer an emphasis on physical attractiveness. Beauty is not supposed to weigh into it. And they don't even call it a pageant anymore. They call it a competition. And they're calling it Miss America 2.0. Um, uh, I know that with time, progress, change is kind of inevitable, but it seems like it's really changed an awful lot. Uh, I have a lot of mixed feelings about that because I remember growing up thinking that um, like there was a time when Miss America was every little girl's dream, but pretty soon it became apparent that you had to have a certain kind of normal, conservative, and I don't mean conservative in a political uh, meaning, I mean conservative in a not very flamboyant, uh, certainly not different colored hair or any even body piercings or anything. Uh, I never felt that a person like me would ever ha stand a chance. But now that they went from having one piece only to uh, bikinis to just being more and more open about things that they never would have allowed, and now that they have even less emphasis on physical attractiveness. I mean, I get it that it is a scholarship pageant. It, 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 it gives women uh, a way to go to higher education, to go to college, to do things really worthwhile besides just taking a pretty picture and uh, posing uh, and representing different causes or whatever, because there are a lot of uh, responsibilities that come with the crown, a lot of personal appearances, uh, helping different charities and different things because you, you are working for that and you have a year of doing this. But I guess they're having less emphasis on the physical and more on the educational aspects and maybe the internal. Uh, I haven't read a whole lot on this, but I definitely will be tuning in for the finale. There have been some years when me and members of my family have gone to some of the preliminaries. And many, many moons ago, I used to work there and my father and I both have worked with America pageants before. So, and maybe in another video, I'll, I'll talk about uh, some of my experiences with that. But I don't want to seem old, so maybe I don't want to do that. But anyway, I watched the parade and I really enjoyed it. And after the cat was the, whichever the last, I think Wyoming was the last contestant. And then I noticed that there was a public restroom not too far away and I made my way to that. And I got out my makeup palette, and as you can see here, I put the eyebrows back on, and I just used a big brush, and I used the palette that I showed you, and I just did a smoky eye using the color that I showed you in that palette, and a tiny little bit of mascara, and I put a little bit of lipstick on, and I blotted it, and then I waited until I was pretty sure that everybody was back at the club, and I, by this time the rain had started again and I just made my way home because I realized that I had a video that I had yet to even promote because the day that I'm filming this is also a day that I posted the previous video that you probably just saw. So I knew that I had things to do anyway. Uh, but I don't regret my experience. I had a really good time. People there looked fantastic. If not for all the other things I had to do today, plus I didn't know really what exactly the rain was going to do, and I'm very scared of thunder and lightning. I kind of have phobia now, so if I even think, and they were pro uh, forecasting thunderstorms all night and even tomorrow, 
and I don't want to be walking along with thunder and lightning. I'm very scared of that. So I said, you know, why don't we just go home? There's always next year. They'll probably do it again. But uh, maybe I'll take that extra step with the makeup on the facial hair kind of thing. But I don't know. But anyway, it was an experience, and the parade was wonderful. The girls look lovely, as always. And that was my adventure. Okay, if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you like me and my channel, I'd like to have you subscribe. I make new content every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I'd like to have you along for my adventures. Till then, talk to you soon. Bye.